Hi my babies! So today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to create this Halloween Corpse Bride Emily look from the Tim Burton movie Corpse Bride. The first thing you want to do when you're doing such an intensely colored look is really to custom color your face. So the reason why I'm saying custom color is because it just helps really get the same shade and tone that you want from the character. So for me, I'm going to be mixing a bit of this blue here with a bit of this white to just give me like a very pale blue corpsey look because that's what Emily has on her skin. We're going to be using it with a beauty blender. Scrape off the color you want. I'm putting it on this palette here. So we see it's this color here. And we're just going to mix them together to create a look. So let's start. Wash over me. All those little things you do that make you also gonna take the color down. We're gonna stipple it onto the chest. Seeing where it takes us. Wash over me. Don't forget to do the ears. Okay. Once you have the color all done, we're gonna be doing the shading parts. So my colors are going to be in the Blue Moon palette. So we're going to be taking shade in fine china. Mix all three. Include in. Include in. Then I'm gonna blend it out. Those here. To create that corpse rotting nose effect, but with shades of blue. Wash over me. All those little things you do that make you, you. I'm riding the current. The beauty blender we were using before to blend this out a bit, to make it look a bit more natural. And what I did that's not very typical of Corpse Bride, but you can do it as well, is I took a bit of this fine china color to do a bit of a crack around the top of the head. Just to make it look really bruised, and then I'm just going to go around and do the same thing to the rest of the head. Make it look a bit more sunken in here on the temples. Yeah. And then something I'm is to just like draw out the neck Happiness area just here. Just when I start to Also, go around and do a type of contour. I 
Makeup Forever palette again into the very dark blue shade here. And then I'm also adding some color near the brow bone to just make all the color blend in together and none of my skin show through. What we're gonna do is prime the eyes and do the eye makeup. So the first color I'm gonna use here is Moonlight from the Blue Moon palette. And we're just gonna put that all over the lid. And the reason we're putting it all over the lid is just to make sure that it blends with the skin tone that we created for Emily. a shimmer, shimmer color tide pool just to create a shimmer pop and you want to just make sure that whatever you're putting on you're putting it on in a circle motion because their eyes are quite rounded put you color here just gonna put that here in the middle on the lid the brows a bit more with the liquid eyeliner from Colourpop Cosmetics here Lumi and we're gonna be using this one a lot we're gonna be using it on the brow bone so I'm just gonna use it on the We're also going to be putting it here to create a um, 3D effect where the bone would be. the shadow under the blue because you want it to look like her lashes are leaving a shadow so I'm just gonna blend that out a bit more and then take a blending brush and really blend out the edges 
liner and just outline what I just did here. Cap Von D liquid liner and draw on fake lashes. This can take a little while, so you want to make sure that you have time allotted to it. Add a wound, so I'm just going to be doing that with liquid eyeliner. And then you can also add a wound here. I believe Emily has one here, but I'm just gonna do this interpretation. In this step, I'm gonna be using ColourPop just to tint to add some color here. She has really pretty pink lips. Adding V Veil to complete the look, so let's see. Thank you so much for watching guys um if you like this look and really want to see me do more costume more character looks please leave it in the comments below with some requests i really love doing things that you guys want to see so please let me know